Free for all. Take no prisoners, comrades. Hey guys, what's going on? Promod Sin, and I'm back with another gameplay commentary. This time it is a uh, free for all on Dome. I know you've seen a few of these from me already, but this time I do not drop a Moab. As you see, I joined about 10 kills in, and this was just a fast paced gameplay, in my opinion, to, to try to pull out the victory. And spoiler alert, I do pull out the win, but as you'll see, it's a really close call at the end. So I figured that it was a good gameplay to bring to you guys. Um, but I do want to talk about a few things. The first thing is to follow me on Twitter, uh, specifically for the fact that I have started uh, retweeting or actually going into videos and liking them. If people send like their gameplays to me, I'll go check them out, uh, and I'll, I'll maybe give you some feedback. Whether th and I'll be honest about it. if it's good feedback or bad feedback, please you know just take it as constructive criticism because I don't want to just say oh this is a great video and leave it at that if I didn't like something I'm gonna let you know and try to even give you an idea on how to fix it because that's what I'm looking for in my videos and I feel that it's right to bring it for you guys also so that's something I've started trying to do so feel free to follow me on Twitter if you're looking for some feedback and also for some people to uh, to re like like your video and get you some more exposure I am not very big on Twitter but hopefully as I grow, then that means that more people can get more exposure because I feel that everyone should have a fair shot at YouTube. So, you know, that's, that's basically all I have to say on that. But what I, what I really want to talk about in this video is sniping in Call of Duty and how overpowered it seems to be in all the Modern Warfare series. And in my opinion, this is strictly my opinion, so you don't have to agree with me. I think it's more balanced in the uh, Treyarch version of, of Call of Duty the Treyarch games like Black Ops 1 and hopefully Black Ops 2 um, in Modern Warfare 3 even I can snipe and I'm a terrible sniper but I can quick scope in this game because they made it so easy they just made pretty much everything in this game extremely easy to use for the newcomers snipers are really easy to use they made that striker so freaking powerful that anyone that's never played this game can pick up the striker and in instantly be good with a shotgun and they also did, you know, they, they added other things like death streaks, or they brought them back at least. And I'm, I've already talked about death streaks, so I want to stick with sniping in this game. And the changes that I, I hope that they make tweaks to the mechanics themselves of snipers, because I think snipers are a great addition to the game, but I don't think that they should be this easy to use, especially in, in a way that they aren't meant to be used. I don't think you should be able to run around with them and basically use them like a, a one-shot shotgun. And that's how the community has started using the shotguns or the the snipers, sorry, for a very long time. And it seems that that Infinity Ward just keeps catering to these people and making it easier and easier for them to use them. So I think that with Treyarch, hopefully, what they're going to do is make it a more you know skill needed weapon, which is what they should be. And there's been talk of a sniper only playlist, and really, I don't see how that's going to fix anything. Because the competition playlist from Black Ops 1 was basically a FAMAS only game type. And it didn't stop people from using the FAMAS in regular game modes. So all it's going to do is bring over the hardcore snipers into that playlist. But we're still going to have the trick shotters. So anyways, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think below. And basically, I'll see you guys later. Bye. 